for Arwen. We're in Morrison's car park in Widnes, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> With a, a double sausage roll breakfast. Well, one of them's mine, you fat get. Oh, it's one of them mine? A pan of chocolate's yours, yeah. Uh, I'll let you know. Yeah, breakfast, jet wash, and then where are we going? Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Um, Up north. Ivy Bank campsite. So, uh, that'd be a bit special, this one. So next door we're getting the conservatory roof done and the van is hanging. So we decided to treat it to a little jet wash. There's the, there's the hubby being a scrubber. At the car wash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Working at the car wash, baby. Do, 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 do. Got our idyllic pitch with views over the countryside, but more importantly, look at this. Our very own private hot tub. This is a David Brown 880 with, I, I, I've no idea. It's a cool looking tractor, but look at this little beauty. So what we've got. We had a basket of logs, but we've bought an extra basket of logs just to make sure it lasts as long as we want it to. Fire lighter, and then you just chuck it in there and set your fire. So what I've done under the instruction of the guy who owns the place as well is uh, put some of this bark down into that and the fire lighters, and then we just top it up with logs. think you're just gonna have to let that burn down a bit because they say don't overfill it so let that burn down a little bit chuck some more logs in and uh, stick the lid on and wait What are you making, wife? <laughs> Just some cheese and ham balms. Balms? Balms. Yeah. <laughs> Not rolls, balms. Why can't we have ham and cheese balms, Sarah? Because you put it in the fridge in the van and it's frozen. <laughs> so what can we have? Cheese balms. <laughs> <laughs> cheese balms, okay. Cheese balms. We've got a solution, love. You came up with it, sweetheart? Yeah. Crisps. Crisps and cheese balms. <laughs> we are sophisticated to the max. We are. As Sarah said, she's now 40. half of 80. 25 years from retirement. 25 years. Is it 65? 68. Anyway, we, uh, she was 40 on Saturday. Today's Wednesday. Yeah. So our mates came up from Dead F, Cambridge ish. And um, we celebrated in Liverpool, which was a very different celebration to today. 
um, we decided to find a pub in Liverpool which had an outdoor area and get some five litre kegs of beer and serve ourselves and it um, quickly <laughs> quickly raised but um, yeah we were ropey and this is our this is our wind down we might even treat you to a little bit of drunk and Sarah video no, from Saturday. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't look like you did. I've had the best first date ever. But I am. Very, very, very. How is it, Beb? It's alright. It's um, a little bit cold at the bottom, but it's alright. Well, I suppose I'll just get in and find out for myself, don't I? Give us two minutes. Right. We're getting in. Oh, it's um, it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's still cold. We've not we've not left it long enough. <clears throat> like it's cold. I think we do need to get out for a little bit. Yeah, I think we might need to chuck a few more logs on. Mm. Get ahead of you. <laughs> what more can you want? <laughs> With your 40 year old wife mm -hmm. in a hot tub mm -hmm. in your camper van. Freezing your tits now. Yeah. <laughs> ice baths are meant to be good for you. Yeah, they're meant to be always cold. So, what we have learned is don't jump in too soon. If anyone comes to do this, make sure it's toasty before you jump in because we just assumed it'd be done by a certain time and we uh, just jumped in at that certain time. And the top is like 38 degrees, <clears throat> but the bottom is about, what did you say, 30? If that, it's like pockets of cold water. So I think you've just got to give it time, get it, uh, get it warm right the way through and then jump in. There you go, Sarah, walking to the toilet in her towel. Current situation. We threw a few more logs on the uh, on the fire, and we're just working our way through two or three more beers, and then hopefully it'll be roasty toasty. But luckily, I mean, look at this, just. sun shines out, the beers are freezing cold, the uh, the hot tub's getting hot and we're surrounded by nobody so we're not complaining, just being a bit patient and there's some people down there in a little tiny house, what do they call a tiny house, like a little wooden shack, they've got the fire pit on, there's a couple in the the pod which I believe is ridiculously popular here and there's a couple next to us <clears throat> in like a little shepherd's hut type thing um, but the guy who owns it cracking bloke he's um he's currently working on a big horse box so no doubt that'll be available to to hire at some point as well but hopefully we'll have to get a little mooch around the uh, the inside of the bus tomorrow obviously the weather's making it what it is but this place is just a, it's just a hidden gem. It's belter. It's surrounded by nothing. It's warmed up now. It's a, it's a good 38 degrees, isn't it? Even the bottom's fairly warm now. I think it just takes time. Oh, it's like boiling a massive pan of water with a tiny little stove. Mm. We've got black clouds in the distance which <laughs> seems to be staying there. Yet we've got fairly clear skies behind us. It's a worthwhile experience. And 
it's not the cheapest it's not the biggest value for money but it's just a unique experience that you don't normally get at the campsite and i don't think anybody else does this so, i've never ever seen this before though. so if you want something that nobody else is experiencing go up to yorkshire and give it a crack yeah at this point you can sleep sleep in a tiny little tent and bring the hot tub next to your tent. Just it's, it beats higher than in the in the van in the rain, doesn't it? I mean, look at the view. It's like sunset. Is the sound of the tingling of the rain on the little tin shelter. There's our van. It's just there. It needs to be done. This water is absolutely toasty. It's just, I, mean, I don't know what the thermometer is showing. The moment is showing 35. It's, it's, it's just. You can see the steam. It, it is perfect, isn't it? And look at the look at the clouds. And I don't even know if this is picking the audio up because my phone has just been in a lashing down rain. And uh, it's full of water. <laughs> but it matter. Sarah. Mm -hmm. What we having? The shittest looking pizza in the world. <laughs> Little mini Chicago town pizzas. Did it on the Ridge Monkey. But I don't know if anybody else has got a California. Does your hob go down to a really low heat and actually stay on? Because ours doesn't. You have to have it in like a medium heat. And it just kind of crisped the bottom up. <laughs> Didn't do a great job. But the steam coming off it, so it's edible. So this is why I married this woman, because she's perfected the second little pizza. But we've also got some garlic, slight garlic bread slices in the Ridge Monkey. Mm -hmm. Morning. There is it. Thursday. Half eight. And I don't know if you can see there, but there's still steam coming out of the the sort of the hot tub from last night. Yeah, had a nice peaceful night, and uh, I've frozen the milk. I left the fridge on too high, and the ham froze yesterday, and the milk's froze this morning. So, if you've got a California, don't leave the fridge on number six, because it will freeze stuff. going for a mooch <laughs> and as you can possibly see I can't see anything in this oh, there it is. there's the van we've let the hot tub fire up and get up to temperature while we go and see what the campsite's got to offer <laughs> 